What is up, bros and brorettes? I am Ink Slasher, and welcome to another episode of Versus. Today, we're going back to Black Ops 3 and looking at one of the brand new weapons in the game. Today, we're looking at the brand new M16, which is a new burst action assault rifle that recently came to Black Ops 3 versus the old best burst action assault rifle that everyone used in competitive play and all of that. It's the M8. A7. So this was definitely one of the most requested episodes of Versus ever. This and the XR2 versus the M16. So if you want to see another episode of Versus where I compare the M16 and the XR2, the way to show me is by hitting that like button. The more likes this video gets, the more likely I am to make a video. Also, you can let me know if you want to see the PPSH versus another gun, maybe the VMP, maybe something else. Once again, hit that like button. It'll show me that you want to see more videos like this. And the more likely I am to do a video of the PPSH or another one of the M16 or whatnot. But without further ado, let's get into comparing the stats between the M16 and the M8A7. So as always, the first things first, let's look at the damage profile. So the damage profile for the M16 is 40 damage up close and 30 at long range. So very simple damage profile versus the M8A7, which is 30 damage up close, 29 at mid range and 22 at long range. So obviously that damage profile is much better for the M16. So for that, it is going to get plus one point and take the lead. Now, the important part to note about that damage profile is that that M16 is absolutely going to be unbelievably good in hardcore mode because the lowest amount of damage you can deal which is 30 damage and that's the amount of health people have in hardcore so the m16 in hardcore is just unbelievable now not only that that's not even the most impressive part about the m16 damage profile it's actually the range the m16 deals 40 damage up to 50 meters in game and just as a comparison that is going to be a three bullet kill up to 50 meters in game whereas when we look at the m8a7 it is going going to be a four bullet kill up to 37.5 meters so the m16 has a longer range at a less bullet to kill which is just phenomenal so for that the extra range on that m16 it is going to get another plus one point and extend its lead so the main difference between these two weapons is that the m16 is a three round burst weapon and the m8a7 is a four round burst weapon now as far as the fire rates go there's kind of two for both weapons the first of which is the fire rate of the first three bullets to come out of the m16 and the first four bullets to come out of the m8a7 so the first three bullets come out of the m16 at a 909 rpm fire rate which is actually incredibly incredibly fast for an assault rifle and then when we look at the m8a7 its first four bullets come out of the weapon in 1000 rpm so once again a very very fast rate of fire but of course the rpm of the m8a7 is about 100 faster and for that the m8 is going to get plus one point now there is another thing we actually have to look at between the two weapons and it is the overall fire rate including the burst delay because after the m16 fires three bullets there's a little bit of a delay before the next three bullets can be fired so the overall fire rate of the m16 is 452 rpm the m8a7's overall fire rate is 591 rpm now you'll notice that between those two fire rates there's a bigger difference with the overall fire rate between the two weapons that's because the m8a7 has has less burst delay and because it has less burst delay its overall fire rates a lot faster so for that it's going to get another plus one point and tie things up so this is where things get really insane is when we look at time to kill so the time to kill for the m8a7 up until 37 meters is 0.18 seconds which is an incredibly incredibly fast time to kill and a great time to kill in the game as well however when we look at the m16 because of that awesome damage profile up until 50 meters 5-0 you are going to have a a 0.13 second time to kill that is the fastest time to kill for an assault rifle in the whole game so that is absolutely insane up until 50 meters you have a 0.13 second time to kill by the way if you throw high caliber on the m16 and actually get a headshot your time to kill is 0 0.066 seconds that is ridiculously fast that blows the other weapons out of the water so high caliber is a very good attachment on the m16 but obviously, since the M16 has a better time to kill than the M8A7, it's going to get plus one point and once again, take the lead. Now, we're going to look at some of the smaller details. And the first one we're going to look at is magazine size. So the M16 has a 30 round magazine, whereas the M8A7 has a 32 round magazine. Now, normally I'd give out points for that. But in this case, it's not really worth points. Because if we look at the M8A7, since it's a four round burst weapon, you get a total of eight bursts per magazine. However, the M16 is a three round 
round burst gun, and you get 10 total bursts with its magazine. So the 32 round magazine isn't necessarily better in this case. So I'm not going to give out any points based on that. Next up, reload speed. So the M16 reloads with bullets still in the magazine at two seconds and with an empty magazine three seconds whereas the m8a7 reloads with bullets still in the magazine at 2.03 seconds which is a little bit worse than the m16 but with an empty magazine 2.8 seconds so because one is better and one is worse once again we are not going to give out any points now both of the weapons have the exact same aim down sights time of 0.25 seconds the exact same sprint out time of 0.3 seconds and both weapons have very very low recoil i don't think you have to really worry about the recoil with either of the weapons now the only other thing that's different between the two weapons is the hip spread the hip spread the minimum hip spread for the m16 is smaller by 0.5 inches so it's not a huge amount however there is a difference there and for that the m16 gets plus one more point but guys that is it that is all the points i can give out for these two weapons and i have to say the m16 kicked the m8a7's ass and i was shocked by this because for the longest time i considered the m8a7 to be definitely one of the best weapons in the game and on top of that it was supported competitive players used it a lot of players used the m8a7 it was a good weapon However, the M16 has a better time to kill, similar fire rate, a better damage profile, and because of that, it came out on top in this episode of Versus. And from the minimal amount of time I actually got to use this M16, because unfortunately I haven't got it out of the supply drops yet, it shredded. This is a very, very good weapon. And like I said, when you throw high caliber on this thing and you get a headshot, that time to kill is next to nothing. So the M16 is definitely a force to be reckoned with. On top of that, it might now be one of the best weapons in the game. In hardcore, I almost guarantee it's the best weapon in the game. So if you get this weapon out of a supply drop, you're a very, very lucky human being, much luckier than I am. But like I said, this weapon is a force to be reckoned with. However, the one thing that the M8A7 does have better than the M16 is you don't have to be as accurate because you have a shorter burst delay and on top of that, a fire faster rate, which means you can get more bullets out of the weapon faster, which means it's going to be easier to get bullets on target because there's less of a penalty for missing your target so yes head to head the m16 will kick the m8a7's ass however the m8a7 is a little bit more forgiving when it comes to missing bullets so like i said earlier if you want to see this weapon versus the xr2 or you want to see ppsh versus something let me know down in the comments and hit that like button the more likes this video gets the more likely i am to make more versus videos like this one so guys i hope you enjoyed this episode thank you so much for watching you can check out my twitch twitter all of that crap down in the description if you're new to the channel you can hit that subscribe button i upload new call of duty videos every single day of the week but like i said thank you so much for watching and until next time guys peace out